Price has allowed just one home run in this stretch since the All-Star break. I mentioned the impressive record, how well he's been. And the Red Sox get to 90 wins. The Yankees are idle, so a little bit of an improvement in that AL East lead. All right, Frank, you convinced that uh, we know David Price's history in the postseason, but that's not with this team and in this mindset. You convinced he can continue this into the postseason. I've never doubted this kid. For me, he's been an ace since his debut up in the big league. He has big moments. Mm -hmm. He's been a little beat up a little bit, a little sore, a little tender. That's why you wouldn't see the ball jumping out of his hand 95. But right now, he's working 95 mile per hour fastball, 92 mile per hour cutter. I mean, he's keeping guys off balance with off speed stuff. This is what they pay for. There's a reason this guy makes so much money because he's an ace. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And he said it right there during his interview. It all starts with fastball command. And you see that box on the screen just like I do. He is peppering that outside corner. And from being in the batter's box against him, when he is hitting that outside corner with authority and throws that backdoor cutter, it makes it extremely hard right now. It's so awesome to see David Price get past all the troubles he's had in Boston. Everything with the media and all that stuff, it seems like that stuff is behind him. And obviously with Chris Sale being down right now, it's so amazing to see him going out and having the success he's having. And he didn't use it, I don't think he was entirely healthy. He didn't use that as an excuse, but he certainly looks healthy now, and I right. think he's, he's productive. Now, how would you, use, in the postseason with Sale, assuming he's healthy and Price, how would you work that, that rotation? It's a would great one-two combination, but I don't like them back-to-back. -back. Why not? I like to see a right hand in the middle of those two just because they're both power pitchers, and when you see them back-to-back, -back, the guy on the second Second day, he's going to have a harder time. Well, I mean, yeah, he's right. I mean, they are coming from two different slots. You right. got David yeah. Price more up here, Chris Sale, who's kind of more around here. Right. But you like Evaldi in that I love spot. Evaldi. He's a Evaldi's got the stuff to too. shut down any right handed yeah. hitting team. Yeah. This guy's throwing 98, 97 consistently with a 93 mile power cutter. Yep. He he's can right. keep teams he's off right. balance. He's an ultimate power pitcher, a lot of strikeouts. They got a heck of a one, two, three combination they're going to yeah, the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, the Boston Red Sox are very similar to where they were last year at this point. You know, Porcello has kind of been okay at the time. You know, Sale, he's kind of banged up a little bit this year, first time in his career. David Price was in the bullpen last year. Mm -hmm. This year, it's a way different story. If he does a great job as a starting pitcher and he can continue this success, they might have a ring on their finger by the end of the season. Well, let's talk about uh, about Nola because he's now put himself uh, in the, oh, on yeah. the national stage with a team that is still contending. He is truly, without question, the ace of the staff, even though they have some experience. Well, I know he had ace stuff last couple of years. You know, I think two years ago I said someone should try to steal him at the deadline and try to get this guy in the top of their rotation because he's a special young pitcher. I've seen it the last few years with him. He's definitely an ace, but you got Jake Arrieta in the ball club. That's why you paid for that ace for Jake Arrieta. Do you Arrietta. start Arrieta in a postseason game? Of course I will, because he's got the experience. I mean, it's just a different animal once you get to October. It's a different adrenaline. You know, I'm happy with him in a two-hole because he can match up with anybody's number two yeah. and easily carry you to a victory. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, the fact that he's only 25 years old, to be in a Cy Young race, going up on a, in the national spotlight against the game's best, Max Scherzer, and to dominate, that was absolutely tremendous. That no showed a lot to me. Uh, I think just in general, you need that ace. I call it a stopper almost. Mm -hmm. Four losses in a row. When he gets that ball, he's like, hey, the buck stops here, man. There's no more losses. He's got that. I think this dude is one of the guys. I mean, right. I know he's 15 and 3. Three, but it's almost like we kind of saw him kind of come into his own tonight, and maybe this could be the momentum he needs to gain that Cy Young. Yeah, in his fourth year, career high in number of innings pitched, and he's pitching now for a contender. Do you agree with Frank, though, if the Phillies go to a postseason, not a one-game playoff, but let's just say best of all, you would go with the experience a over your every ace. Day, every day, twice on Sunday, man. There's no better tool than experience, and Jake Arrieta has that experience. And Arrieta has, has been known in the past to, to ratchet his game up when it counts, and that's what you're going to see in the playoffs when you mm -hmm. get there with yep. him. He's a different animal once it turns to October. We saw it three times with the Cubs. When they needed big wins, Jake Arrieta came out and pitched great ball games. Yep, mm -hmm. Phillies uh, have to get there first, and we'll see how the team they were chasing did tonight.